What's going on guys, it's Trippy Cakes here and today's video is why we hate Alliance Conquest. I'm going to be looking at this from an analytical standpoint and talking kind of fast because I don't want to, you know, beat the crap out of the subject. This is just something that I'm hoping maybe developers will take into account by saying if this video gets enough, you know, push and message out. So, I am a whale. Yeah. So before we even go on, I already know other whales are going to say this is why you build HP on cars. Well, not everybody has the means to do so. Not everybody has the crystals to go and, you know, try and get their luck with premium cards. And, you know, card rolling, if you don't have a high VIP, is already a lot slower than it is for somebody who's like me at VIP 20. And I even still find it kind of slow. So the first thing is damage ratios. This is my Spider-Man. One of his attacks, almost 81,000 damage. But if you look at the HP of the people that I'm fighting... That's essentially a one shot, but there are more ticks of damage on this attack. Damage ratios are way too high in Alliance Conquest to where too many characters are getting one shotted. Defense ratios are way too low and they almost feel like they're just non-existent. A 50% all defense lead does not feel like your character's got any beefier than if you were to throw some random person. It doesn't make sense that having a character with a HP lead should feel tankier than somebody where they literally increase your actual defenses. But it seems like every single time that an update comes out, there's more stuff that overrides the foundations of PvP. You got CTP agreed, uh, type enhancement, all this other kind of stuff. And I feel like that's slowly overriding everything that, like I said, was the foundation of PvP. It's either you gotta attack and attack hard, or it doesn't matter. Oh, and have HP does not make sense to me. So those are two major problems. The ratios when it comes to PVP, they don't have to touch any of that for PVE, like doing world boss clears or Shadowland or anything like that. That can be left alone. But when you go into Alliance Conquest, just like your stats get beefed up with your HP, then why not? Why not adjust it to where every single character has a pretty pretty close baseline of you know attack and defenses and stuff like that and then whatever you put into the character just goes on top of that you know so no character gets left behind every character is absolutely useful that's how i would suggest fixing it the easiest way possible without a complete reform of alliance conquest so that way it's the more characters you have built the more valuable you are not the more people in your alliance that have thanos the better because that's how it is we need to kill meta and PvP. That's all there is to it. That's the only way that there is going to be balance at this point with over 200 characters is killing off the term meta. And I don't see anything wrong with that. There's no reason why people should be forced into putting their everything into characters that they don't necessarily care about. Like I don't necessarily care about Thanos, but I know that he is absolutely invaluable in Alliance Conquest. To me, whatever you put into a character is what should show i don't think that doc ock hulkling hell even whiplash i don't think any one of those characters should be left behind just because they're playing favoritisms or they don't have some awesome uniform coming out or whatever and then like it's, it's bad enough that a lot of kits have been outdated so severely but as of right now the best way to start to fix this alliance conquest problem because it is one of the biggest game modes in this game best way to fix it is to have a flat baseline for every character in the game and how built you've put into them iso urus um custom gear all that that is what should make or break your character because there are people that have put a bunch of resources into a character but they fall extremely short just because they're not meta so i'm asking you guys who watch this to you know, help push this to Netmarble because they need to listen. They want our money. The least they can do is make it to where everybody who has a favorite character, even if they're not the greatest thing in the world, should be able to play this game and enjoy it. That's all I got to say about that. And as always, guys, do thank you for listening to me rant. Please do like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, comment, all that good stuff. Make sure you're sharing. So I'm really trying to get this rolling this year. I got high hopes for this year, and uh, I can't wait to see what else we got in store. This has been Trippy Cakes, and I'm peacing out.